देश विदेश की सैर कारवा 2.0 पॉइंट ओपर आर्यन आर्यन वॉज बॉरोड फ्रॉम द संस्कृत आर्य मीनिंग नोबल इन द एटीन सेंचुरी इट डिनोटेड एंशियंट पीपल ऑफ नॉर्दर्न इंडिया हु स्पोक एन इंडो यूरोपियन डायलेक्ट नाउ जर्मन फिलोसोफर मैक्स म्यूलर पॉप्युलराइज आर्यन इन हिज राइटिंग्स The idea that there was an Aryan race parallel to the Indo-European language was proposed by some 19th century writers and was taken up by Hitler and other proponents but it has been generally rejected by scholars Atoll Atoll or coral atoll is a ring-shaped coral reef including a coral rim that encircles a lagoon partially or completely the word comes from dhivehi an indo-aryan language spoken in the maldives referring to an administrative subdivision it was charles darwin who recognized its indigenous origin and coined it as a circular group of coral islets also known as lagoon islands aubergine Aubergine is also known as the fruit of the eggplant. Aubergines are native to Southeast Asia and were unknown to the ancients. It was the Arabs who introduced it to the Mediterranean. Did you know that aubergines are also commonly known as brinjols? Bet you didn't know that. Avatar. Now most of us have seen the critically acclaimed film Avatar or Avatar directed by James Cameron The word avatar originates from the Sanskrit word avatara which means descent of a deity to earth Avatar on the other hand means an icon or a figure of representation Bandana Now when I was a child I always used to confuse the words banana and bandana <laughs> well originating from sanskrit bandhnati meaning ties hindi bandhanu and urdu bandhanu which is tie dyeing the word bandana was first used in 1741 to denote a large colorful handkerchief which is still its meaning today the colors and the spots are what make it a bandana bangle in the late 18th century came the word bangle derived from the hindi word bangri or bangli meaning glass bracelet bangles can be made from glass or other materials such as gold or silver hmm i like gold bangles actually diamond ones are even better what do you think banyan Now this word is indigenous and was coined by the early travelers who observed that the shade of the tree was frequented by banyas. Now in the Gujarati language banya means grocer or merchant not tree. The Portuguese picked up the word to refer specifically to Hindu merchants and passed it along to the English as early as 1599 with the same meaning. By 1634 English writers began to tell of the banyan tree a tree under which Hindu merchants that is the banyas conducted their business understood how it's come about basmati basmati derives from hindi the literal meaning of the word is fragrant basmati rice is a slender grained aromatic rice that is traditionally from the indian subcontinent and has been cultivated here for centuries it was added to the dictionary in the 1990s bhakti the sanskrit word bhakti is derived from the verb root bhaj which means to divide to share to partake to participate or to belong to the word also means devotion to faith love or worship also 
something as a spiritual religious principle or a means of salvation. Scholarly consensus sees bhakti as a post-Vedic movement that was developed primarily during the epics and the Puranas era of Indian history. The Bhagavad Gita is the first text to explicitly use the word bhakti to designate a religious path, using it as a term for one of three possible religious approaches. Bidi Borrowed from the Hindi Bidi, the word represents a thin, often flavoured Indian cigarette made of tobacco wrapped in a tendu leaf. It was added to the dictionary in 2013. Brother Now, brother has its origin in Dutch and German. Bruder and Bauder, respectively, and also Old English Brodor. It is a stable word across Indo-European languages. In Sanskrit, it is Bhratra. Buddha Buddha is an epithet applied to the historical founder of Buddhism. Now, in Pali, Buddha literally means awakened and enlightened and comes from Sanskrit Bodhati, which means is awake, observes and understands. The title of Buddha was given to Siddhartha Gautama who attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. Bungalow Ah, those spacious colonial bungalows of Delhi. I just love them. Now, did you know that it was called a bungalow because the architecture typically associated with the structures was native to Bengal? Funnily enough, the word bungalow comes from the Hindi word bangla, meaning belonging to Bengal. Candy Candy is today what we know as crystallized sugar. Sugar was mass manufactured in slabs, which were broken into tiny fragments and placed in mounds for easy measurement. By the way, candy was also a unit of mass used in southern India equal to 20 mounds of crystallized sugar, which is roughly equal to about 500 pounds, but varying locally. Candy comes from the Sanskrit word khand, which means fragment. Kashmir I love my Kashmir sweaters. Now known as a type of fine soft woolen fabric, the word Kashmir was also the old spelling of Kashmir, which is in the Himalayan kingdom, where wool was obtained from long-haired goats. Oh, I get it now. Kashmir from Kashmir. That's how it gets its name. Chana Chana is a Hindi word which means chickpeas. They are quite popular in India and are eaten either as a dry snack, salted with masalas or along with curry, any way you like it. The word chana was officially added to the English dictionary in the year 2008. Charpoy Charpoy is a bed used especially in India, consisting of a frame strung with tapes or light rope. It is said that the word originated from the Hindi word charpai and was dated to be first used in 1845. Cheeta Think of the fastest land animal on earth. Hmm, if you didn't guess cheetah, then you, my friend, aren't that fast. Cheetah comes from Chitraka, which is the Sanskrit for largest spotted cat of India. It was first used in English in the 18th century. Chintz Chintz is a painted or stained calico fabric originally produced in India and known for its brightly coloured designs. The word has its origin in the 17th century and is taken from the Hindi word Chheet. Chadar Chadar is the name for the traditional garment of Muslim and Hindu women, consisting of a long, usually black or drab coloured cloth or veil that envelops the body from head to foot 
and covers all or part of the face. The word has its origin somewhere in 1605 to 1615 and is taken from a Persian word chadar meaning a veil or a sheet. Chutney Indian chutneys are spicy all over the world, aren't they? But did you know that the word comes from chutna, which is Hindi for licking or to lick, which is what these delicious chutneys make you do. Chutney was officially added to the dictionary in the early 2000s. Copra Copra, also known as dried kernel coconut, is taken from a Malayalam word kopra and from Sanskrit word kharpara, which means the skull. Hey, that's a little more than creepy if you ask me. Cot The British term cot originated in the 17th century from khat, which is Hindi for a hammock or bedstead or khatva from Sanskrit. The word has had various meanings. In 1769, it meant canvas hammock bed on a shipboard. In 1818, it meant a small bed or a crib for a child. And by 1854, it meant a portable bed of canvas or similar material fastened to a light frame capable of folding up. Wow! I love how words evolve, don't you? Cow Knock knock Who's there? Interrupting cow Interrupting <coughs> That cow definitely interrupted me <laughs> Well the word cow originated from the Sanskrit word gao It was adopted by Old English and became ku And eventually evolved into cow That's quite interesting isn't it? Kamabund. The word Kamabund is the anglicized form of the Hindi word Kamarband. The name commonly was used in South and West Asia, including India, for the article of clothing. It is a combination of the Hindi words Kamar, which means waist, and Band, which means strap or lacing. Daughter. Daughter was first used around the 12th century and is derived from the Sanskrit word for daughter, Duhitru or Dhotor from Old English. It also related to the words Dokter from Dutch and Tokter from German. The modern spelling evolved in the 16th century in southern England. Deva Deva originated from the Sanskrit Deva meaning shining one. The term means God or a divine spirit in Hinduism. Devi is the feminine form of this word, meaning goddess. It was added to the dictionary in 1991. Dal Hey, ever heard of the phrase Ghar ki murgi dal barabar? Well, dal comes from the Hindi and Urdu dal. First used in 1673, the term denotes a dish made of lentils, which has a lot of varieties, from method of cooking to the pulses used. It officially was added to the dictionary in 2005. Hey, dal chawal is my favourite dish by the way. Perfect comfort food. Dharma Dharma, popular in Hinduism, means an individual's duty, or custom. The term comes from dharm, Sanskrit for religion or custom. In Buddhism, the term means the nature of reality regarded as a universal truth. It was added to the dictionary in 2002. Dhoti This garment worn by males got its name from Hindi and Urdu. A dhoti is usually made from cotton and is white in colour. Dingy Dingy originated from the Old English dinge in the mid-18th century. 
Now it could also be related to the word dung. Dung? Do they mean cow dung? I'm not sure, but I don't really like it. Dream. Who doesn't dream? The Middle English word has multiple origins. German Traum and Dutch Droom. But the most interesting one is the Spanish word for dream. Sueno, which comes from Swapna, which is Sanskrit for dreaming. Ginger. Ginger is derived from medieval Latin gingiber, from Greek zingiberi, and is akin to Pali singivera. The spice was native to the East Indies but is now cultivated in most tropical countries. Guar. Now, guar is a plant grown whose seeds produce a gum which is used as a thickening agent and stabilizer in foods and as sizing for paper and cloth. The word is derived from Hindi guar. Gani. Jute bags are quite the accessory, aren't they? Gani was first used in the 18th century and comes from goni or Sanskrit for a sack. Guru The guru-disciple relationship is of immense importance in Indian mythological texts where it stands for a spiritual teacher. The term guru comes from guru in Sanskrit meaning weighty or grave and is comparable to the Latin word gravis. In 1940, the term was generalized to mean a mentor. Heart The heart is vital physically as well as mentally, isn't it? The word is related to Dutch heart and German hers and was used in the 12th century for the first time. Shakespeare used take to heart in 1600. The meaning to love, which is associated with the heart, came from the popular New York State tourism campaign that used the heart symbol in place of the word love in 1993. Interim Interim came in the mid-16th century from interim in Latin, which means meanwhile. It also has its roots in the Sanskrit word antarim, which also means meanwhile. The word used to donate an arrangement originally for the adjustment of religious differences between the German Protestants and the Roman Catholic Church. Jackal Jackal was first used in the 17th century and it has been derived from the Persian word sagal and the Turkish word chakal. It is similar to the Sanskrit word srugal, meaning howler. Wow! Jaggery Oh, I love jaggery, especially laddus made out of jaggery. Now the term for this coarse sugar, which originated in India, comes from Portuguese shagara, from Malayalam Kakara and from Sanskrit Sarkara. Isn't that cool? Java Originally a coffee grown on Java and nearby islands of Indonesia, the word is derived from Java Island itself. By early 20th century, the word meaning was coffee in general. Jugad now, jugad essentially is a small trick that will make a big difference. Like making a dish antenna out of a cycle rim, for example. Jugad, a Hindi word, was recently added to the Oxford Dictionary, seeing its wide usage. The word originates from the regions of Western UP in the Haryanvi dialect, from the word jugat. Jugat is an improper word for its parent Sanskrit word, yukt. Juggernaut Hey, this one surprised me. The word juggernaut 
comes from the Sanskrit word Jagannath. In the early 14th century, Franciscan missionary Friar Odoric brought to Europe the story of a massive carriage that carried an image of Vishnu, a Hindu god, in religious processions. The tale caught the imagination of English listeners and by the 19th century, they were using juggernaut to refer to any massive vehicle or to any other enormous entity with powerful crushing capabilities. That is so interesting! Wow! Jungle When it comes to English etymology, it's a real jungle out there. Jungle comes from Jangala, Sanskrit for an arid, uncultivated piece of land. Although the Sanskrit word refers to dry land, it had been suggested that a similar word in Urdu did refer to forests. Karma Everyone knows that karma is the circle of life and the cycle of cause and effect. The actions of your present may affect what happens to you in the future. Now, whether you believe in karma or not, the word karma has its origin in India. In Sanskrit, the word karma means to do. Kermis Kermis is such an important commercial source of scarlet dye that derivatives of the name for it have displaced the original word for red in many languages. The word came in the late 16th century from French kermes, from Arabic kirmes, and from Sanskrit krimija, meaning a red dye produced by a worm. Lac Lac means a resinous substance secreted as a protective covering by the lac insect. The word originated from the medieval Latin lac, from the Portuguese laka, and is based on Hindi lak and Sanskrit laksha. Langur Hey, do you know what a langur is? We have so many of them in India, don't we? Well, langur comes from Hindi langur and Sanskrit langulin, which means having a tail. As simple as that. Lilac. The word for this popular flower comes from Sanskrit nila, meaning dark blue, and from Persian lilac, and is a variant of nilak, meaning bluish, and neel, which means blue. Loot. Loot is another Hindi or Sanskrit word which was adopted into the English language. It comes from loot, Hindi, and luntati, Sanskrit, both meaning to rob or plunder. It started being used in English in the 18th century. Maharaja Live like a Maharaja, the Westerners say. But most of them don't know that the word Maharaja comes from India. The male ruler of an Indian state is called Maharaja. The word has its origin in the 1690s from the language Hindi. It was only recently added to the English dictionary though in the year 1999. Mandala A mandala, which literally means circle or completion, refers to a sacred geometric device commonly used in the religious practice of Hinduism and Tibetan Buddhism. Now, this serves several religious purposes, including establishing a sacred space and as an aid to meditation and trance induction, focusing attention of aspirants and adepts, an abode of a Buddha or Bodhisattva, a symbolic map of the universe and pathway to liberation. Wow, that's quite a lot of uses and purposes, right? Mandala has become a generic term for any plan, chart or geometric pattern that represents the cosmos metaphysically or symbolically, 
a microcosm of the universe from the human perspective. Wow, that's really, really deep. Hey, hey! Rote hue, aate hai sab. Rote hue, aate hai sab. Hasta hua jo jayega, wo mukadar ka sikandar, wo mukadar ka sikandar, jaane man kehlaega. Rote hue. वो सिकंदर क्या था जिसने जुलम से जीता वो सिकंदर क्या था जिसने जुल्म से जीता जहा प्यार से जीते दिलों को वो झुका दे आसमा जो सितारों पर कहानी प्यार की लिख जाएगा वो मुकादर का सिकंदर जाने मन कहलाएगा रोते हुए आते हैं सब हंसता हुआ जो जाएगा